In this video, I'm going to teach you how to catch the tama on the small cup, just like that. And if you haven't already, make sure that you've learned how to catch the tama on the big cup because all the same techniques apply. And just like the big cup, we're going to start by learning in the sara grip. Only this time, you're going to turn your hand over so that the small cup is facing up and the spike is pointing away from you. And then catch it on the small cup. And of course, like the big cup, you also want to practice with the ken grip because tricks will use both grips. Only the difference is that when you turn it, you're going to make sure that the spike is actually pointing towards yourself. And this is very important because a lot of tricks rely on the spike pointing into yourself. Practice catching it just like that. And once you've mastered that, uh, you want to start trying to put these two techniques together that you've learned, going from the small cup to the big cup. So we can start in the Sara grip. Come up, small cup, big cup. And as you can see, there's a lot of wrist action in there. So this is where it's very important to make sure that you're using your knees to pull the tama up. That way your wrist is free to turn and it helps maintain control of the tama. And once you've practiced that, use the ken grip, small cup, big cup. You can master those in no time and that is how you catch the tama on the small cup. 